Well, and welcome to the Cloud 2030 discussion. What is multi-cloud and what is the cloud? And There's a lot of those definitions, right, that, that we debated back then about what cloud was and what multi-cloud was. It seems like we're having those same conversations again. About Growing gap between people who are still stuck in uh, building systems, you know, the old way versus, you know, people who have been living and breathing cloud for the last decade. And they can talk about hybrid multi-cloud versus cloud versus disruptive innovation and just take the gloves off and go. Uh, to a line of business developer, there's no such thing as shadow IT. It's just chime in and say none of the providers are making it easy. <laughs> you don't want to hear what the vendors are planning to do. That's not our goal, yeah. right? A particular event or a series of events could take out AWS, Azure, and GCP. The accelerating potential risk of climate change on our global infrastructure because it is pretty darn provocative and it's frightening, absolutely frightening, um, the potential. I mean, people kind of live in a, in a world where they don't actually see the reality. But then I think also just the amount of the way that data is being used, like it's great that we're racing towards a cure and gathering all this information and going faster than we've ever gone. But what happens with that data now that you're able to aggravate it and you've got it all together? You know, do you have a bottoms up business model where you can have an exit event in four years uh, that's driving innovation out of the ecosystem? Um, and, and kind of a tangent to that is the whole open source thing we were talking about as well. How, you know, we haven't really seen much in open source since Kubernetes. Many of us, myself included, focus on the tactical discussions of cloud. And like, if you think about cloud 2030, what can we do leveraging technology to make the world better? Uh, and so, but that level of conversation is not really happening anymore because people are buying the tools, thinking the tools will solve the problem and layering it, not in the way that they're supposed to. More about how do we react and learn from what's happening because what's happening could easily happen again, and most likely will if you've read the, the recent Bill Gates uh, posts on this, but the, the notion of Build Back Better is, is is taking on board things like the UN Sustainable Development Goals and taking this stuff seriously and, and actually trying to get something good to come out of what we're all going through right now. So please come in, sign up for next sessions, and uh, we'll see you there.